Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't already know, I'm Kevy. So for this vlog, I wanted to do an inventory day vlog. I was already filming in my room last night. So that's why like all my equipment is in here. So that's why I'm just doing this video in my room instead of at my workstation in the living room. Right now what we got going on over here is I brought a few lashes with me to my bedroom and I'm just going to be labeling these lashes to prepare them for shipment with my brother P-Touch label creator. This is what it looks like. So as I mentioned in my very first video, I label all my lashes myself. So right now they look like this. So I'm just going to create the labels and then put the names in no spaces. And then this is the back of my brand new box. I love holographic everything so all my boxes always have to include it. This style right here was supposed to be a restock of Sucker Free. But as y'all can see, this style does not look like the original Sucker Free I had. They are like super, super cute. Look at that. It's so fluffy and beautiful. I wish I had like better light. Let me get um my ring light. Maybe I could brighten this up so you guys could see. So this is sucker free. I'm thinking of maybe just dropping the styles and then just calling them like 2.0. I spoke to my vendor and my vendor is just basically saying like, oh, the products are handmade. So there's nothing they can really do about it i guess like it is what it is basically that doesn't make me happy but i have a really good vendor so i'm not gonna like make a big deal about it it is what it is this style is supposed to be p-u-s-s-y fairy um if you bought this style when i first originally released it then you know that this is a big difference um, the original style was way more fluffier, like, and full. It was so beautiful. So when I received this, I was, like, devastated. Like, wow, I ordered so many pairs of this, and it's not even the right style. So what do I do? To me, this style just looks like the 25mm version of my Dangerous Lashes. Still super pretty, though. Super beautiful. Um, great quality. Just not what i wanted now this is the style that they sent that's just incorrect i think their catalog is messed up so they have like a sale catalog and then they also have their original catalog so i think this item was on their sale catalog and they mixed it up with the original catalog like they switched up the names so this is why i got sent this pair instead of the one i asked for so right now this is my most 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 popular lash single this is 3d mink in the style bust down they are like so fluffy and dramatic oh my gosh but like the perfect amount of all of it if you want to make a statement but you don't want to go too over the top these are the perfect pair of lashes and they're 20 mm So basically, I'm going to just put these lashes on the white tray so you guys can see what they look like. You have to be really careful too when you're doing this because you don't want to rip um, your lash band. If you wear lashes, then you know the lashes come um, glued, like pre-glued so that they can stick to the trays. I never used to wear lashes until I started selling them. So I know when I received mine, I saw glue residue on my lash and I was like going crazy. I'm telling the vendor like you sent me used lashes, blah, 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 blah. And he's like, no, like we have to glue it, sweetie, so it could stick to the tray. I was like, oh gosh, I was so embarrassed. <laughs> but you know, I didn't know. I was just starting out. You know, it was it was something new. You have to you have to learn along the way. So that was my learning experience with that. Sometimes when I send people lashes, I'm always nervous that they're going to think like, oh my God, like, did she wear these before she gave them to me? Like, 
why does the tray have glue on it? Why do the lashes have glue? Like, that's why the lashes have glue. This is the style Angel Eyes, and this is a restock. Oh, wait. I think I've been calling it Angel Eyes. This style is called Angel Face. And yeah, as of today, April 25th, I only have one pair left. And this is my most natural style. When I first released it, it wasn't this full. Like, to get this look right here on the tray, you would have to buy two pairs and double stack them. But this is only literally one pair. And look how fluffy and pretty that is. These are like one of my best sellers. Like everybody loves these. Everybody's always dying for a restock. So that's why I always end up restocking them. Even though I always say like no more restocks. I'm done restocking. Like I just want to do new everything. There's always those like few styles that people are just like no I can't get over it. So this is dangerous. You know like super edgy. And this is a 20mm style. And when I was saying it just looks like a smaller version of the style that they sent me that's supposed to be P-U-S-S-Y fairy. Like you can see what I mean. Let me just try to hold it up next to each other. Like you see like P-U-S-S-Y fairy that they sent quote unquote is just literally you know a longer version of dangerous in my opinion like it literally looks identical if you ask me this is the new vegan lash bundle that i just dropped on my site the original bundle had um i believe eight or 10 pairs of lashes. These were just my favorites. So I decided to bring these back because all of my vegan lashes are sold out. So I was like, let me just do a new bundle so you guys can have a vegan option still. My nails look so horrendous, oh my gosh. Quarantine is really getting the best of me, but yeah, this is the new vegan bundle. I really love it. I'm actually gonna keep one for myself and then I'm gonna swatch them. So you guys could have a better idea of what they look like on. Wow, look how pretty all of this looks. Oh, don't mind my toesies. <laughs> um, but yeah, right now we're just going to get into the labeling process. Because I don't want to make this video too, too long. This is going to be the first thing we're going to label. This label machine only prints up to nine labels at once. So I'm going to just start with nine. So now I'm just going to type in the first name, which is Savage Print. And then it's asking me how many copies I want. I want nine copies. So now we just print in out the nine copies. And this is how it looks when they're coming up. Oh, it's finished. So it's asking me feed okay because for this now, I just do it so that it all comes out together instead of like having really big spaces. I don't really know how to explain, but it asks me if the feed is okay. So I'm going to say okay and it's going to print the last one. So now I'm going to cut it. And then this is what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's just what it looks like. I did this in size medium i believe i don't want to do it too too big because these trays are small so like that's just right like that's the perfect size i don't know if you guys can see i hate when i squint in the camera because it's so unattractive but that's perfect i want it in bold so i'm gonna print new ones in bold and then i'm just gonna set these aside and use those another time nine copies again and this is in bold much better i like that Like, I'm always wasting these um, labels, thingies, but I'm very particular. Like, you guys know already from the first video. So, that's Savage, and the next style is CEO. So, I'm going to go ahead and print nine more copies. Now, the last style is Barbie Drip. So, I'm going to go ahead and type in Barbie Drip. And you always want to make sure, like, you're spelling everything right, because you're going to be mad if... You like type the wrong thing and you print 
the labels and you're just wasting everything for no reason all right so barbie drip is done now for these boxes i usually do a more playful font but i'm thinking like if i should use the same font for everything i'm just gonna stick to the font i usually use for those i never remember the name for it so I always like have to just go through and like stare at it for like a really long time and then just say okay I think this is it let me try it I think it's this style right here called Brune so I'm gonna just do it whatever I'm gonna just do a few and if it's wrong oh well I'm putting it on the box because I told myself like I'm not wasting any more of these labels because they're expensive oh god it's the wrong one this is so wrong. Alright, like I said though, I'm using it still, so oh well. Um, let me go back and try to find the font. It's not that one. Huh. I'ma try this one. Let me see. I'm gonna do one. Let me do a different name now. I'm gonna do dangerous. Let's see. Okay, got it. So this is the correct fonts i'm only labeling lashes for the orders that i got so i'm gonna just do the rest another time because like i said this machine only does nine copies at a time so i'm gonna be sitting here all day trying to label all my products every person who ordered um yesterday during the restock ordered at least two pairs each of bust down that's how highly requested that restock was like everybody was waiting on this restock so i'm just super grateful that out of all the lashes that was wrong it was not bust out i really love this font so so much so that's bust down and i have to print one more copy inventory day is always so like dragged out for me because i can literally get all my lashes labeled by my vendor like the vendors do that that's what i used to do i used to let them label everything for me i never used to label but then one time i got a batch and i hated it i hated how the labels looked i didn't like um the size of the font like there were just little things i didn't like and i was like you know if i just do it myself these are things i don't have to worry about so that's when i decided to get my own label maker and just put in the time myself because this is my business so I have to nurture it like it's my child so if that means dedicating time to sit down and label hundreds of lashes then that's what I'm gonna do so that's why I got my label maker and I was like I'm just gonna do everything myself and plus it's an extra fee for them to do it so it's like I'm saving like $50 $40 $30 here and there and that's so good like that makes a big difference so now I'm just gonna put this on the bottom of the box right here dangerous let me just take this lash out make sure everything is good and it's clean so just put the label on boom dangerous it's now labeled angel face check it and just make sure this is angel face and i printed this one with the wrong font so this is actually going to be funny Cause I have like weird like OCD like that. I don't know. It's actually gonna annoy me. So thank God there's only one pair left, so I don't have to look at it for too long. Cause this, I don't like this font at all. This is not cute. So whoever receives these, I'm sorry. That was an accident. Let me see if I can show you guys. I don't know I guess it's not the worst thing in the world <laughs> the last thing that we're gonna do before I end the video is label the vegan lash bundle I can't wait to show you guys how it's gonna look with the um the labels and the inside the box like it's gonna look so cute I feel like labeling lashes makes a like a huge huge difference when you just have your lashes and they don't have no like name on them no label like i feel like it just takes away from the aesthetic i guess what i'm gonna have to do too which is gonna be annoying though i'm gonna have to like physically take the lashes off the tray because these last two are too long for me to just stick it this one i could probably get away with it but i just don't want to risk 
pulling any of the fibers and then messing the lash up. So now these lashes are all labeled. The vegan lash bundle. And you see like how that font just like really looks so good with them. This is like one of my favorite fonts right now as well. I don't really use any of my other fonts. I just use those two. Like, I just stick to what I know. I'm very picky. Like I would like something today and then hate it tomorrow. So this is what they look like before I labeled them. So you see what I meant about the like aesthetic of everything? Makes a really big difference. So yeah, this was my inventory day vlog. I hope you guys loved it. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Like, comment, tell me what you guys thought. Tell me any ideas you have that you want to see, like new products, um, any restocks you want. Let me know. Um, yeah.